What's good, people? I just caught this Kevin Samuels, Nicki Minaj Instagram live. Very, very, very interesting. But, it, you know, let it run for a bit. Interject a little bit. Default answer for me. Well, I would, let's see. I'll give you a minute. Mm. First I'll and foremost, because, first and foremost, yeah. he just gave Nicki Minaj a 9 out of 10 for looks. Ballsy. Very, very ballsy. I'll say that. He has the cojones to give Nicki Minaj a 9. Well done. Well done. I think he might be being a little generous right now, to be honest with you. She's fine and all, but that's a lot of makeup. That's a lot of weave. That camera that she's using right now, I know you can't see the full quality of it, but it is impeccable. Right? So, very ballsy move by Kevin Samuels. Well played. He knows his audience. He knows the barbs. Well played, Mr. Samuels. Facial symmetry. And you get additional points for eyes. Full lips. You see when she just... See, it's not... You see when she just puckered those lips out? Look at that. She's puckering those lips out. You know what's you know what's in those lips? Silicone. Okay? Her lips aren't even real. Eyebrows ain't real. Hair's not real. None of that anything on her is real right now. Nothing. Nothing. Camera's pish pristine. I mean, she takes off all of that. She's looking like a completely different person. So for him to give her a nine and not mention nothing that I'm mentioning. He's playing to the audience. He's being very kind. <laughs> I'm a natural image consultant. Oh. I'm sure you you a lot of people who take your pictures and stuff and so forth. You have a symmetrical face. And so it's much more based upon facial symmetry. It's not based on European beauty standards or anything like that. It's much more based upon what... Do you see how he already knows that... He had to kind of mention that whole European beauty standards because those are the talking points, right? Those are the, always the talking points when you want to give some type of critique about uh, a black woman, per se. If he came out and just said that, yo, with, if, he pre if he didn't preference his statement with um, that particular statement, they would have said, oh, he doesn't like black women and this and that. But he has to come on an intelligent tip. Right, so if he came and just said, "Yo, you're a nine, that's it," you know, blah blah blah, that wouldn't have been good enough. He had to preference what he's saying and let it be known that he's not holding her to any type of European beauty standards, aka white woman standards, right? And he's trying to give some compliments along with that, saying that you have a nice symmetrical face, you know what I mean? But Maybe you gotta lay off on the makeup a little bit. That's what I would say. I would say, hey, I wouldn't probably have said that, but yo, my honest opinion on her, you gotta lay off the makeup a little bit, lay off the Botox shots a little bit, lay off the lay off the weave a little bit. You're a Trinidadian, you know, Trinidadian New York native, man. You got style, you got good genes, man. All that other shit is a little unnecessary, you know what I mean? Babies, animals, human beings have evolved to find the track. You get and you get additional points because we have evolved to find more slanted eyes, some are attractive, especially when they're not on Asian. Wow, wow. That, 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 that's not what gets that. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, she has some nice eyes, but the, the look, she's wearing fake eyelashes. I mean her eyes no offense to her, but she looks like she might be on some type of um prescription medication or something because the way her eyes are looking she they look like she was like bugged out of her mind like the way she was staring at him i don't know if she's trying to cast a spell on the brother i don't know but she looked like she was gone off of something man that's not what gets translated most of the time people take my clips and cut it down to something that's gonna make a viral moment it's gonna start a conversation take the good one. isn't that a shame isn't that a shame? This guy be giving you gems, 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 gems. And all people are going to look at is a, a, a minute to two minute clip, right? Because that's the society that we live in nowadays. Everything is clickbait. And that's it. That's what they're going to base this man off of. 
just those little sound bites and those little clips. Not fair. Not fair at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you seen anything else that I do? I saw one time when you... Very good question. Have you seen anything else that I do? Because all you're going to get all here on these more popular uh, IG websites or media takeout websites is just clips of me just bashing, quote unquote, quote unquote bashing women. So have you seen anything else? Have you actually, you know, take took in a full uh, live stream that I do? On YouTube or a full IG live stream that I've done? Have you? Good question, Kev. Another good question. You check this lady, but I think, I guess it was a white lady or a Hispanic lady. And you was like, oh, you're not going to come on this show and talk down on black women. That's what the fuck you're not going to do. Yeah. And so, again, that was a clip. I didn't, I didn't see the context. Of course you didn't see the context. People never look at the full context. But salutes to her. She taken the high road. You know, she could have easily just went to you gonna die alone. Like, which is over a year ago now. She could have easily just went straight to that, but she didn't. She took the high road. Salute to Nikki. Really, but well I get a I get a rapper hating black. Uh and as far from that, I mean there are over fifty black women report that they've gotten married as a result of watching my content. Really? This on my this on my Instagram. I actually have a young sister uh just post up saying, hey, as a result of you, I smashed the ring. I just actually posted a brother who was about to move to the Dominican Republic and he found his wife in my Facebook group. Like twelve couples have gotten married in there. But that stuff doesn't get publicized. Mm. Isn't that a shame, right? No post your faults and never your accomplishments. You see what I'm saying? Shame. Unless you're playing their game. When I'm talking about relationships, I'm talking about men and women, but because I'm black, I'm talking about us. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I would bring stuff in, and then a lot of times sisters would say, well, men, when they get to a certain level, they only want white women and this or that. Um, so I, I, I let women from other races come in. I'm like, okay, well, can you... You see how she shook her head? You see how she's like, yeah, 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 that's true. Not freaking true. Not freaking true. Kevin's going to get into it, but I just want to say this. Look, there have been black men having sex with white women for centuries. There have been white women, uh, yeah, and vice versa. Um, white men having sex with black women for centuries. I'm talking about like mi- medieval times. I'm talking about dark ages. I'm talking about biblical times. I'm talking about Way, 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 way before any of us are even a thought, right? So this is not nothing new. Nothing new is under the sun. Did you learn anything from what? What would you teach? And the one woman came in and she thought she was going to do what I did to black women. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, oh, wait, wait. Now I, we can talk this way. Karen, you sit your ass down over there because I don't play that. Um, I wouldn't let you know. Despite popular opinion, I love my mother. I love my daughter. But we do have to have a, a family conversation, and it's what's starting to happen more is actually we're starting to have more conversations about this. It ain't comfortable, but uh, we're starting to see progress. Well, let me ask you this, just outright, then mm-hmm. why why do successful black men stay outside of the race? Uh, let me say this before Kevin goes into his politically correct answer. I, w- I want to hear Nicki Minaj keep that same energy if she ever had a conversation with someone like hmm, Lisa Bonet, Serena Williams, Meghan Markle. Would she keep that same energy? Would she even ask that type of question? Or would it just be, yes, sis, yes, sis, and all this type of stuff? You let me know in the comments below. Would Nicki Minaj have that same energy for Serena Williams, Lisa Bonet, or Meghan Markle, who all date white men? I guess Serena, you know, she did her thing with, you know, Common and all those other guys, Drake, but she married ultimately a white man, had a child with him. Would she keep that same energy? Let me know in the comments. Um, well, I would say this. When I look at men, I look at, I split them up. Guys that I consider to be in the industry, music, entertainment, athletics, and the guys on the business side. Mm-hmm. Business side, the 
because I come from that side. But uh, more often than not, black men want to be with black women. Facts. Eighty-five percent of black men are married to black women. Oh. When okay. I when I have my guy, guys come to me. Eighty-five percent. Eighty-five percent. Okay. Never mentioned that. You don't hear about that. Even after they got themselves together, like Dennis Furley, the guy who just moved. Look at Carlton Banks. Look at Carlton Banks. Girls don't want Carlton Banks. This man was like the prototypical man that like women really, really should be striving to. Black women, I should say, should be striving to want. They don't want that, right? Educated again. I know this is just a, a, a fictional t- television show, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but he was typecasted as that type of person. I mean, no girl's gonna want him. He got, you know, he got his here and there, you know. But for the most part, they want the Pookies and they want the Ray Rays. Shouts to O'Shea Duke Jackson. He found his black wife in my group. You even have television shows like Love After Lockup and all this type of stuff for reality shows about. Guys who are incarcerated having relationships with women who are on the outside, like black women. Like, what is that? That's so toxic, bro. Who wants that toxic energy in their life, bro? Nah. They want the tox. They want the toxic guy. What? 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 What do you mean? Like, they don't want the guy who's making. You know what I mean? Who? Who? who, who. <laughs> They don't want the guy who has a freaking bus pass and, you know, who's making an average money, who making decent average money working, flinging boxes. They don't want those type of guys, man. Let's be real. They want the pokies and the ray rays. And then when these these regular guys go date outside the race, they're they're looked down upon. Like, what kind of ish is that? Like me, we, we want to be with them. The problem is, let's be honest. In my lifetime, we weren't really raised to learn how to get along with one another. We can kick it, we can hook up, and we can, can we work together long term. And uh, uh, I mean, you're married now, right? Okay, marriage is relationship is a skill set. It's different than dating in short term. We really want to talk that kind of stuff. And what successful people? Who are doing good in their professional life want to fail in their personal life. And in the black community in particular, when we fail in our personal lives, we pay a huge penalty because so few of us get married. It's almost like we like to see people's marriages fall, but we need more of those things in order to build whatever we're going to be because um, people may not, may not like my method. I want to see more black men who want black lives get with black women. Case closed, right? It it should be done. It should be done. But he's still going to get hated on. People are still going to talk talk crazy about the guy. He just he just stated. Video done. I'm done. He said he loves black women. He loves his mother. He wants to see more black women get with black men. And he's just he he's just the the oracle. I mean, he's just the person who's um. He just he's just bridging the gap. That's it. We're just having conversations. At the end of the day, this is all just conversation. You know what I mean? But you have a lot of these idiots. Like I seen something the other day where a dude actually pulled up his um uh child support case, his court documents. A black guy too, right? And it's always your own people. Nine times out of ten, it's always your own people. It's not external hate. It's all internal. It's all self hate. Somebody actually made a YouTube video clowning the guy about uh how much money that he made um or how much money he reported and how he's not a high value man a whole video talking down this guy i get i get it's probably just clickbait but at the end of the day it's pretty sad you see what i'm saying and that's the outcome we're giving it ain't pretty sometimes it ain't pretty. can i say something can i say something real quick black women can y'all can y'all can we can we stop stop talking about if these niggas want us or not Excuse me, Kevin, this is not... I'm talking to a black woman real quick. Can we stop talking? Can we stop posting all day on TikTok? Because I I knew we went to TikTok and I I just kept seeing this. Black women, can we stop talking about if black men, if these successful black men want us or not? Like, can we just focus on us and we be successful and then we go out there and we decide who the fuck we want 
because what let me let me just interject very quickly here kevin samuels right now can ether her right now he's done enough interviews with black women that he can easily easily finish her right now give her a fatality with what she just said he's dealt with this nightly for the last year that type of mindset those type of questions uh those type of statements right let me give you an example this is what kevin samuels if this wasn't Nicki minaj would have told Nicki minaj You're okay. a woman that was with a man for six or seven years, and you gave him the highest honor a woman can give any man on the planet. You gave him children. You gave him not only one, you gave him two. And yet you did not require him to even bestow the title of a wife upon you. So you go back out into the market, older, with two children, you and you expect someone in that market to accept you older and bestow the title of wife upon you? That's what that's how men look at it. Right, wrong, or indifferent. And then being in LA, one of the most competitive markets for women in the world. Competition is stiff out there. I'll be there in a couple of weeks. Beautiful well, woman I on every corner. Say, like, so I do meet I do meet great men. I don't think it's hard finding the man to okay, like I, okay, man, be I, committed I, I, to. Oh no, no, no. See, this is how we judge over here. We don't judge by dealing with dating, we judge in weddings. That's the only thing that counts. If you're not married, you're losing. Yes. See, that makes it real clear because you've had everything up to that point anyway, right? I've been engaged. Right. I don't count those either because women, especially a lot of black women, have been engaged for a long time, three, four, five engagements. See, when you make it real clear, there's a high value man or whatever you do, whatever term you're using. Has any one of them married you? And the answer is no. That's what Kevin wants to say to Nicki Minaj, but he can't. Playing it cool, very, you know, very going very light, as he should. Very smart, very calculated. So he's going to let her talk and look at the answer that he gives her. What I've been seeing is I feel like I've been seeing men using that as an opportunity because they, they've been hurt and, and somebody done went to them and they've been using it as a, as a way to come out and lash out and poke fun at black women. And use it as a way to feel like. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look at that face. <laughs> Yo, he could just finish her right now if he wanted to, but he's not going to. He's not going to. He's going to play it very smart, and I don't blame him. You saw the clip I just played, right? That's the real Kevin Samuels. This is politically correct Kevin Samuels. Two totally different people, as he should be. You got to be smart. You got a brand, brother. I don't blame you at all they somebody or they something or so so for all you niggas that's doing that on tiktok whatever the fuck y'all at eat a dick go away nobody gives a shit about you and i want black women to stop fucking posting about whether or not y'all 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 want black women or not okay mm -hmm. well i want black women just to focus on themselves be successful and then you go out there and you decide the trajectory of your life myron Gaines would have had a field day with that one field day from fresh and fit he would have had a field day with that one kevin samuels a field day but recognizing the audience recognizing the situation played it smart played it cool because I, I just showed you the clip i'll go back to it this is what he really wants to say and that's why i say it's di the dating market is difficult because you're not an unattractive woman sure a guy will take you out for a nice date you really know really want to know what we think uh how tall are you i'm five six i weigh 115 pounds yes oh yeah i'll take you out oh hell yeah i would take you out so i don't have a problem 
going to find them empty. Of course not. I would, but the thing thing. is, but what are you finding them for, though? Yeah, I would take you out. Take you out and get you a nice steak and some lobster. We'd have a good old time. And I would blow your back out, but I wouldn't marry you. See, what I think I really have an issue (laughs) is, like, finding men that don't want, like, the superficial. Like, most, I feel like the type of guys, like, they just want a woman that, like, looks good on their arm. Like Yes. So, like, when you say... Hold on, listen, let me stop, 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 stop right there. Yes, that's what we want, because that's who we are. And you yeah, want a man? That's the problem but, I have with dating. But, you, but listen, listen, with, listen, listen, no, okay. listen, listen. You want men not to be men. You want men to think like women. Let's go back to the other. Let's go back now. Let's switch back because he could have easily went there, right? Because that's what she's. That's what Nicki Minaj is kind of getting at, right? What type of guy is? What type of guy are these women going to find with her life hack right there? Okay, so they're gonna, these women are going to find some beta males that they're just going to want to use and abuse and move on to the next one. That's why they're not getting married. That's why they're so hurt. That's why they're posting on TikTok all day, according to her. That's just how I look at it. I mean, am I right or am I wrong? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. Well, here's the thing. There's a lot of hurt on both sides. And, and a lot of, and especially- There's a lot of hurt in your eyes, Nicki Minaj. You've been hurt. You know what I'm saying? You've been ran through. And you're seeing a lot of these dudes... Uh, a lot of these women, I should say, online looking very hurt. That's what you're seeing, Nicki Minaj. And Kevin breaks it down so eloquently on his channel. He's been doing it for so long. But he realizes who he's speaking to. He realizes his audience. He's not going to go in like that on you. He could have easily shredded you to pieces right there. But he said, you know what? Let me just chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. You know what I mean? Let me chill. So he just kind of switched the topic, kind of moved it to another another place, you know, talking about the hurt and the pain, you know, and the trauma, you know. Well done again, Kevin. Well done. This is black community. We don't really do a lot of counseling therapy. Uh, I, I recommend therapy often uh, because we got a lot of stuff individually that we want to deal with. And marriage and relationships are not for everybody. And I'm just trying to, ultimately I ask people, what do you want? What do you want? And what are you prepared to do to get what you want? And That's a good point because in Nicki Minaj's tangent, uh, she didn't actually address that. I mean, these women are posting, according to her, um, posting, 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 looking for that validation or just kind of just hating on men in general. But what do they want? What are they looking for? What is the goal? What is the outcome? And are you willing to pay that cost? It's really the conversation. It always gets kind of whittled down. But at the end of the day, what we are seeing is, you know, especially if you're under 30, it's it's harder for guys to date under 30 than it was 50 years ago because you can't take care of a family on a high school or or just coming out. So they're at the bottom. Um, Going back to what I was saying earlier, a lot of these girls don't want these guys who basically have a regular job and you know what I mean? Just, you know, have a bus pass. <laughs> Live with their mom in their mom's basement. They don't want those guys. They don't want that. Not no more. Not in these times. No. So they're lonely. Society's setting these super high expectations for them. For these women. So they don't want the regular guy. They don't want the guy with a bus pass. They don't want the guy working a regular 9 to 5. They're chasing this 1%. And he don't want you 9 times out of 10. Because you're spewing Nicki Minaj, you're just you're 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 giving off that Nicki Minaj energy, you know what I mean? And you don't look like Nicki Minaj. You ain't Nicki Minaj, and even Nicki Minaj, she's married. She got a husband. Come on, man. You're in a hamster wheel. <laughs> um, and I, rec- I just had music, and I recommend. I told guys, look, while you're under thirty, work, work on getting yourself together. Because 
could have not, you're really not in a position like like you should be to be able to work with the do anything like that. that um, and you see the hate, not the hate, but the hurt on both sides because a lot of times people will use these talking points to go at and poke women over here. But that's not what's going on right now. This year we're, we're past the sound. I mean, we still laugh. We still we still do all this stuff. We're talking about self awareness um, and, and moving the needle. I'm going to be in LA tomorrow talking with uh, a famous sexologist, a womanist, feminist. To talk about things that I may look, that people on my side may not understand, to first open the conversation up, because that's what we have to get to. We gotta end up, well, whoever want to be involved with whoever, we gotta end up having a better conversation because while we're separate, fighting, everybody else just eats. That's what divide and conquer, divide and conquer. That's what's going on right now. <laughs> that's what's going on right now, man. So he just he just said it very eloquently, man. Shouts to Kevin Samuels. Okay, Kevin. So, so, so since we had, no, we got, we got, we got to get down to business, chat. Go now, ahead. Now, do you think a man can, can, can um have sex three times a night for his for the rest of his life? Bro, I'm done. That's where I end it right there. You see that look on her face? You know what she wants? She wants some of that Kevin Samuels, bro. That's all she wants. She wants a little piece of that. You see what I'm saying? Look at that smile. <laughs> Anyways, yo, you can go check out the full interview, man. Just type in Nicki Minaj and Kevin Samuels on YouTube and you can get the whole thing, man. I'm out, man. Take care. Peace. Subscribe for more. I'm out.